think I can say for sure without talking about it a little more. We're seriously gonna keep going? We're all good, aren't we? I thought it was clear Biapia did it. No, I'm with Makoto. If there's any doubt whatsoever, we need to explore every possibility. Because if we're wrong, we all die here. Yep. Thanks, Coco. I appreciate you. That's true. Very well, then. I'm with you, too. I would say Daganropa 17 plus. It, it's uh, exactly. I would say it's at least like older teens, at least. Damn straight. Kill me in. Do you not have a mind of your own? Of course I do. What am I, an ant or something? Here, this is a follower. No brain cells. He's a sheep. Anyway, let's discuss this all as a group one more time. We still have time to make our decision. That's very true. Our lives are all on the line. Excellent. Then shall we resume our game of hide and seek? Sure, let's go. Let's go, Byaku. Or is this another debate? But if Byaku didn't do it, then who's the real killer who murdered Chihiro? Yeah, it's still, it's a good, it's a good game. The killer is generous, the killer is a guy. The killer is a guy, I think. Because the crime scene was in the boys' locker room, you need... You would need a boy's handbook to get in, especially since it was during the night. So it wouldn't be like I don't know. This is very mature. Uh, it's, I was gonna say it's definitely it's a good story, so we can can suspect the guys exactly. Since the old book is apparently broken, the killer would um, have to use their own exactly. In other words, it had to have been a guy, but there's still not enough. I need to find some more clues. What are we doing? Are we doing a debate? Make your argument. What am I doing? Library just left disappearing stain Celeste's account. Like the time? So Junko didn't kill. Junko was dead. Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Well, clues are one thing, but... Did nobody get a look at the killer? I'm sure if someone saw the killer, they would have said something by now. Perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. Even that there might be enough for now. Yeah. All we need right now is any kind of new info. Oh, did- oh, really? That doesn't- oh, fuck. Damn. I thought that was right. Um, Hero has the same brain capacity as her. <laughs> yeah. All we need right now is any kind of new info. It's over. It's all over. You want to know who saw the victim? The killer. And only the killer. Nope, there no, we go. I was like, I knew this last thing was very important. I just didn't, I was trying to find where it fit. Also come back, uh... I believe someone else did see the victim before he was murdered. What do you think, Celeste? Now that you mention it, yes. I did see him. Huh? Really? Oh, but I suppose only Makoto knows about this. Is that how you say his name, Makoto? The rest of you had I'm just no gonna say idea, Big Mac. <laughs> did you? That is why you're all making such ugly noises. Whatever! Just hurry up and tell us! It was last night, right before nighttime. I saw Chihiro in the dormitory warehouse. She's for it. It's her accent. I like how she says it, though, Nico. Like, I like how she said it. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but I like how she said it compared to how people say it. No, that's only how she says it. I don't know. I like... Everyone's like, no! I'm like, I'm sorry. I just like it. I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag. And then, I assume, he headed off to exercise. Mac. Mac Otto. Mac Otto. I like Mac. I just like Big Mac. jacket and a duffel bag. But we didn't find anything like that at the murder scene. Yeah, where's the duffel bag? It seems likely that the culprit destroyed them to get rid of any evidence. Who's on trash duty? Who's on trash duty? It's gonna be either Taka or Yamada. Who's on trash duty? And that is when you said something some... that struck me as rather odd. Well, I better be getting going. I'm kind of in a hurry. Chihiro told me he was in a hurry. Brains in Africa, really? But why would he be in a hurry? Only if someone were waiting for him, I should think. Uh, I don't think anyone took notes on that. <laughs> well, because I know Taka had what? Yamada had first week. I think Taka has second week, right? Wait, how about the other characters who aren't talking? True. That's so, true. Mr. Fujisaki was on his way to meet with someone, and then they were going to work out together? 
I don't think it would be Yamada because Yamada's not in enough good enough shape. No offense, Yamada. Um, I think it might be Taka. Anina and I had invited him to exercise with us plenty of times, and he always declined. Probably because he was afraid you'd find out the secret he was hiding, right? Which means that conversely, he must have trusted whoever he was meeting with very much. Enough so that he was willing to risk his secret being revealed. <laughs> oh, what a marvelous friendship! Who was Chihiro close to? The point is, whoever he met up with is the culprit, right? So we just gotta figure out who it was. But knowing what we know, I can't even guess. No, you already have what you need to make the connection. It's not Leon. Oh my god, poor Leon. Let him rest in peace. Uh -huh. Coco was right. We know who it is. We know who the killer is. S seriously? Who, who is it? Who's the killer? Coco, Coco. Think back to the track jacket and duffel bag the killer disposed of. Focus on the details of these items, and it should become obvious who was waiting for him. Oh, I'm thinking, not just leave Leon out of it. Oh God, I'm trying to think of all the boys. It's not Yamada. I know for sure it's not Yamada. Um, I think it's Muna. Muna's talking to Ishimura. Now they are talking earlier. Why can't Coco just tell us, man? Oh are my you goodness. Sure about that. You really think we can figure out who did it based on two pieces of evidence that we don't have? There were always talking the whole trial, though. You got to talk about big brain time. What? You want to track down some fingerprints or something? Because it's between Mundo and Taka. Even if we had the equipment for that, we wouldn't know how to use it. Because you're the moral compass and the other guy's the leader of the gang. As was noted, the evidence is already gone. There's nothing to get fingerprints from. I think it's Taka. Because uh, the only people who have access to the garbage chute is Taka and Yamada. And I don't think Yamada would go work out with Chihiro. So I think it's Taka. Rest in poggers. Level 30. Say thank you, Leon, is my Valentine. Oh, you like, you like Leon? Again, Sakura is... I don't know why. I love Sakura so much. Maybe. But we can make certain inferences if we just take the time to talk it out. <laughs> Though Genocide Jill is becoming my favorite now. Easy for you to say. But fine. Celeste, did you notice anything special about the bag or jacket? I know, you do know who to The story? bag was just a normal duffel bag from the warehouse. Who checked the... Taka was the one that checked the warehouse, right? Look at Turkish. All the bags in there are the same, so I can't imagine what would make that one special. Well, if I remember right, there was a decent variety of tracksuits to choose from. Taka is mine. He got he got me a pencil. Well, that's very sweet of him. Just play, pay close attention. I am trying you to. Think there might be some connection between the culprit and Shihiro's jacket. Perhaps the jacket. Let's explore that and talk a bit more about the jacket he took. The Shiro's track jacket really holds some clue about the killer. Somehow it's really hard to believe. Oh my god. So it says make your argument. Library desk disappearing stain, Celeste. This the, these none of these make sense. I'm gonna have to take a flashback, aren't I? First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask. I'm gonna let it play through Why first. Why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing! No, I don't so, think so. what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is black. I... I don't even have a tracksuit. Cause exercising sucks! I have a white tracksuit, personally. Ooh. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Did any of that really help us get any closer to figuring out who the culprit is? No way. Not a chance. 
You Ooh. heard him, right? What he just said without even realizing it? I heard black and white, right? Somebody exposed something. There's something off about what someone just said. First of all, Let me listen again. Where Chihiro was headed. He okay. was on his way to go exercise. That's correct. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing. So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? He gave himself away! My tracksuit is black. Oh, that's not right! Oh, what the hell would he know the tracksuit was blue? Oh, well, shoot, just screw you! <laughs> So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him. There we go. There we go. I knew it had to do with Mundo, but I was trying to figure out how to get him. Hold on a second, Mondo. What did you just say? I knew it was Mondo. Ding, 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 we have the winner! I knew it was Mundo, I just didn't know how to get him. Celeste was the only one that knew that's exact. Well, I thought maybe, like, saying it was blue and then saying, like, Wait, if it was blue, then it would match your your tracksuit because you're the one that said it. That's right, because only Celeste and Makota would know because they're the only ones that relate it. That makes I knew it was Mundo. I was just again, it was like one of those things like I had to find the right combination, the trap him kind of thing. It was like it was hard because I was like I know it's you, but I don't know how to like trap you. Huh? What I say? When Celeste testified a few minutes ago, she said. Tom stuff a track jacket into the duffel bag, and then I assumed he headed to exercise. She never said anything about the jacket's color. So why did you say Chihiro's blue tracksuit? What are you? You just... Hey, Celeste, what color was Chihiro's tracksuit? Ooh, he got caught. As a matter of fact, it was blue. I love her accent. And before we began the trial, did you tell anyone that? Kill him! <laughs> the only one I told about any of this was you. Then, Mondo, how did you know what color Shihiro's tracksuit was? Mundo, Mundo, su super sus. When I first saw Mundo, I thought his hair was cord. I'm not even. I thought it was a bugle chip. You know those little bugle chips, and I thought, get him out of here, kick him out. Did you know this from the very beginning, Durgan? That's very impressive. Corner, I did the same thing to death, to death. <laughs> get, get him. Out. I just. I'm sure he saw the clothes at some point in the investigation. No, that can't be it. The bag and clothes were surely disposed of by the time we began our investigation. Boo, Mundo! <laughs> Do it, Makoto! Do it, Big Mac! Rip Taka and Mundo's relationship. Yeah, it's, it's kind of gone. <laughs> Stay out! Aw, oh, poor Taka. Yeah, poor Taka. He's trying to defend his brother and it's not gonna, or his, you know, his bromance was not working. Yeah, he guessed it by murder weapon. I narrowed it down to Sakura versus Mundo based on the barbell alone. Did you not think it could be anybody else? Like, cause technically, don't you think Taka's strong enough to pick that up? I know it was him because I've seen a full playthrough of this game already. Ah, so it was a little bit spoiled for you. I think this will be emotionally. Huh, from, so from the barbell alone, cause again, I thought it might be Sakura because of the barbell, but when I started putting pieces together, I'm like, I don't think it's Sakura. I think he, this will be, I think this will be emotional. Mundo's beta design was supposed to be Mundo's hair as a gun. That would be silly. Yes, that's not wrong. Do it, Big Mac. Then the only reason he could have known what color the tracksuit was is if he saw Cherry with it before he died. That's the only possibility. Looks at like everyone else in the room. You think anyone else could lift that much weight with them? You never know. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you'd be surprised how much weight somebody can reach. You see the spoil, so I kept throwing it out. Well, I appreciate that, Baron. I don't know how did you even think that it was Taka. Well, I don't know. The reason I thought it was Taka, because you know how they said somebody disposed of the, the duffel bag? I know Taka's on garbage duty. I mean, it's Taka and Yamada that are on garbage duty, so I thought Taka threw it away without anybody noticing he threw it away. To be honest, I cried when Leon got executed. That's a pretty tough, like, uh, that, that death was pretty in, um, intense. Did you watch the whole series, Baron? Yes, I'm in the room and I can... Lift a dumbbell, <laughs> guys, for me. Cherry, uh, are you talking about your hero? Wait, he called her Cherry. So, how about it? Did you see the tracksuit or didn't you? Just by chance, I just happened to see it last night. He walked past me, and he was carrying the tracksuit in his hands. 
No, that can't be it either. According to Celeste's testimony. She set the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. So she was trying to keep it away from people from seeing it. So there's no way he would have seen it. When the murder was confirmed in boys' locker room, and for a fact it was Mundo, because then you would you would know to get it wasn't Sakura because it was in the boys' locker room. Look at the respect for Cheeto's pronouns. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot, Trans. And just like that, she was gone. When Celeste noticed it, Chihiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely in the bag. She's very determined. If you just ran into him briefly. You couldn't possibly have seen what color the tracksuit was. Yeah. Both games, I don't know, but I don't know about it right now, though. Here, you dug your own grave. Perhaps, but you handed him the shovel, didn't you? That's why you said what you did. Focus on the tracksuit, and it'll be obvious who he met with. What a bunch of nonsense! Oh, Byaku's realizing that Coco's pretty, pretty smart. Ah, now I, I might have to buy the fourth one now. It was all one big bluff, wasn't it? Your true intention was to draw a slip of the tongue from the culprit. Oh, so Byaku was trying to like get them to, to come clean, like the, the slip up. Sarah has spoken. said you knew who did it to put them on edge. That's right. However, Mondo was my target all along. I had my suspicions about him from the very beginning. But why? What made you so suspicious? That's a good question. The way he talked, the way he was acting. Because I hate him! The way he was acting? There was a certain turning point that tipped me off. Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo, but you tend to refer to men and women differently. Oh, he does. He refers to women as weak. Dagoboku is confused. I love it, though. You only call guys dude. For girls, it's chick. And after he was killed, you happened to refer to him as dude. I didn't catch that. I oh, I almost want to replay this chapter to the, the, the catch him call um, here. Oh, call Chihiro um, dude. I didn't catch that at all. He actually said that when you talk to him. I didn't even notice. Cause see, I call I call girls and guys dude. Like I don't I don't assign it really a gender. Dude is like um, what do you call it? Neutral to me. So it's like I didn't really assign it. I didn't even think about it when it was too respectful for his Once own good. Once I picked up on that, it occurred to me that Mondo knew something we didn't. He didn't notice such a tiny detail. That's why we have Coco. She's a witch. You're positively frightful. Coco, Coco, Coco best girl. No, I'm not the frightful one. Not Mondo nearly is. as frightful as someone capable of murdering a friend. Coco explains everything? Yeah. Yeah, Coco's, Coco's smart girl. Mondo, was it really you? Did you really kill Chihiro? I, 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 uh... Gender neutral term, I, I like to use... Oh, face! Seraph! <laughs> I don't think people appreciate that as much, Seraph. I didn't kill anyone! You've been all over me, judging everything I say, putting words in my mouth. What gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn criminal? Yeah, he would never do something like that. This is a false accusation. Oh, of course Taka's going to take true. his side. My reasoning on that is pretty shaky. That was fast. Well, this does present us with a problem. It seems we are all out of leads. <laughs> My time has nearly come. Yamato, what are you talking about? Taka, uh, Taka Mundo versus Stuffy and Coco? Pretty much. The typing is pretty fast also. It, it is pretty, what my pretty fast. Ghost friend is telling me. What little ghost friend? Oh, yeah, Your imaginary friend? Me. Kifumi, weren't you telling me you found some evidence? Really? What kind of evidence? Wait, did he find the bag in the trash? Get him, Coco! <laughs> Coco can solo the... In my opinion, this is the saddest. Is it really? Oh, I mean, I did really like Jahiro, and I was really sad to see him killed. Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it here calmly, it might not be all that relevant. Ifumi is very funny, you guys. Can't change my body. He just kind of creeps me out sometimes in the game. In this game, yeah, it's the saddest one. Aw, Ifumi has, uh, has other friends. Jeez, does your confidence just get up and walk away? It's fine, man. Just tell us. If you really insist, then... Um, here it is. Oh, it's an e-handbook. Hmm? What do you have there? 
It happens to be an e-handbook. I found it laying on the ground, so I scooped it up. You found it on the ground, right? Then it must belong to Chihiro. I got it! It's mine, really? That was one of the you answers? Know Chihiro's handbook was missing from the scene of the crime, Really? Right? Hush, we... <laughs> was... Yeah, uh, Hifumi just has some... Yamada has some really creepy lines. That's the only problem. I will agree to disagree about the saddest case. For a fact. For a fact indeed. I was totally sure I'd found it. But it must hold some clue about the culprit, right? Well, that's what I was hoping. But, but it's, it's busted. busted. It won't even turn on. I said in this game, other games have much... Oh, really? Oh, they're that much... He's my chubby boy. He's only... Cre that's true. I guess you're right about that light. I imagine the culprit broke it to get rid of any evidence after the murder. So the guys, he's funny. I mean, he is. He's just some of the things he says. I'm like, just like, oh, don't say that. Or the expressions he makes. I'm like, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. What about Toko? I want her be back for a second. Oh my god, I love to. I love. I love suicide or genocide. Suicide, not suicide. Genocide. Um, Jill. Oh my god, it's words. Words are hard. Now, I I definitely think he's creepy. Dude, Top Hat's like, mm mm. I'm guy and he's cringe. He even references Dragon. Does he reference Dragon Ball? That's oh yeah, that's odd. right. He made a, he I did. I think the handbooks were quite so fragile. True, he is creepy to girls, but he's still my chubby boy. His reference is a lot different. And Pidgeys, no, douche. You're right. They're not. They're totally waterproof and shock resistant. It would take an awful lot to break one. And yet, this one does appear to be broken, as is Leon's, sitting useless in the main hall. Yashiro is better comedic relief. Who's Yashiro? I'm guessing he's in the second one. Well, your confidence. That is a remarkably high failure rate. <laughs> Do you think there might be some kind of mystery in there somewhere? That is completely true, Hero. Um, hence, he's a comic relief. Ah, oh, that makes sense. How precisely did the handbooks get broken? Handbooks would break. There's only one possible. By hitting its weak point, by exploding a bug, by hacking it, by hitting its weak point, right? Because he said each one has a weak point, right? You already told us before that the handbook has one weak point, didn't you? Yeah! You remember that? M Monokumo, I keep... I have big brain. I keep... I, you know, I have... I know I have goldfish brain, and sometimes I can't remember, but... Uh, uh, sure, maybe I let that slip. But I never told anyone what the weak point actually was. That's true. He never told us what the weak point was. I like DR1 way more. Do you like? Same. I was attached to Leon when he got executed. I got very upset. Yeah, that's why I'm not trying to get attached. I like. I'm gonna be very upset if Sakura dies. But if the handbook is supposed to never break, and two of them broke in quick succession, then then we can only assume that someone's figured out its weakness. Exactly. I cried about the too many character deaths. Yeah, I, even Chihiro hit me here. You know what the weakness is, right, Monokuma? So, what is it? Huh? You're asking me? I think it's a necessary piece of information if you want this to be a fair trial. He, she's got a point. She's pretty gross otherwise, though, and the tongue isn't going, I'm going to overcome that. <laughs> Top Hat's like, you can't overcome crazy. But if I tell you, and someone else decides to copy it, that would be very not good. Just tell us already. Why would we want to break our own handbooks? He's got it quite. I got scared when Toko showed her other side. To be honest, I mean, it, it kind of it caught me off guard. I'm not gonna lie, Eva. Inside Jill's heart is taken though. Oh, is it? <sighs> oh well. I have a weakness for pushy demands. But you're sure you won't follow their example? You sure? You sure, Meep? You sure about that? Yeah, funny character otherwise, so yeah, true. Then allow me to make a special announcement. The weak point of my cutting-edge e-handbook is... When it's exposed to high temperatures for too long, it will suffer a meltdown and totally break! So it can't handle heat. I know, I know I say Mundo to hurry up and kill him, but I do love him. Oh, it's like a love-hate. Yeah, she's funny. The chemistry between her and Byaku cracks me up several times. It is a very interesting relationship. That's for you. Yeah, I'm sure. When I get Dragon Ball 2, I will stream it. I'm so excited. I, I'm, again, Eva, I think you'll really like it. I knew it. You knew it? Yeah, because I found the handbook laying on the floor of the sauna. Floor of the sauna. Why didn't you explain that earlier, Yamada? The temperature in the sauna can reach over 200 degrees. 
Strange how you don't get burnt, huh? It's because as your sweat evaporates, it creates a cooling layer of air around your skin. I've learned something today, so that's how why you, why you don't get burned by um, sauna. Again, this is the first time I've played the games and I'm already if loving the it. the hot air of the sauna were somehow pushed directly onto your skin, you definitely get fried. That layer of air would get blown away. That's why you may feel a burning when you move around. So when you're in a sauna, make sure to keep nice and still. Interesting. So that's why you need to sit in the sauna. You can't really move. To be honest, I think Byaku secretly likes Toga Praise. I think a little bit. Like a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Ah, interesting. I learned one new fact today. No. Even me and Tucker are like... That is a mere trifling speck of knowledge. Anyway, <laughs> if you found the victim's handbook in the sauna, then the killer must have been purposely trying to raise its temperature in order to break it. Yas, yas, Yamada. Stop, excuse me. Oh. Meaning the culprit somehow knew its weakness. But how'd they find out? Monokuma said he didn't tell anyone, right? Because Mundo's tablet is broken because he did the sauna competition with Taka. I bet both their tablets broke while, when they did that sauna competition where they sat in there forever. Um, Taka is second best boy. Leon is my first Indeed. best boy. Quite the mystery. What if they found out by accident? Oh, what do you mean? Cla you clapping real hard there, Coops? Um, wasn't Taka shirtless? Taka was shirtless, so maybe it wasn't Taka that, but um, definitely Mundo found out. He also had his clothes on while in the sauna. True, Taka was, yes. Sorry. What if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna, not knowing its weakness, and it broke? Yeah, so only Mundo's broke, I think, because he was wearing clothes. They'd realize it was broken, of course, <laughs> and it wouldn't be hard to figure out why. Plus, tomorrow is, my, is our anniversary as well, so tonight has to be the best. It is our anniversary and tomorrow. once they had Chihiro's handbook, they knew they had an easy way to dispose of it. I won't say it's not possible, but who would have done something like that? Honor, honor the sub dance. I honor the sub dance. I don't dance. know of anyone who took their handbook into the sauna. Challenge accepted. I might know someone who did. Yeah. Whoa. Seriously? You know I exactly. The one who Big may Mac. have taken their handbook into the sauna was. <laughs> who might have brought the handbook into the sauna? I re really could only have been one person. It's Mundo. Oh my god. Here's my answer. Mondo, your handbook got broken in the sauna, didn't it? And he could even show his handbook for proof and we would see it. What? While time Why? flies. Why do you keep accusing him? Taka's trying to protect him. Mondo and Taka had an endurance contest in the sauna not too long ago, remember? And for the contest, Mondo just so happened to keep his school uniform on. But little did he realize, he'd also left his handbook in one of his uniform pockets. And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook into the sauna could easily destroy it. Uh, no, wait, hold on! You've got it all wrong. He would never kill. You sure about that? Accept this. Show me the proof. The actual solid proof. Show us your handbook. I mean, I don't want to believe it either, but I found something that proves it's beyond a shadow of a doubt. What evidence? Oh no, what is this? Make your argument again? No, nah, that can't be right. There's watch time. This can't seem right. It's, it's, it's sometimes it's wrong. Genocide Jack's case file. Chihiro's handbook. Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you I read broke your own hand. handbook. Okay. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that, that would be a, a day. You're Mokoto you're close, Kuz. Right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine. Oh. See? Look, Makoto was wrong after all. Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly. Hmm. Oh, I even I don't want to believe Mundo might actually have killed somebody. I found something that proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually I think broken, it's the broken E handbook. I got it. I think I got it too. What Makoto said is right. 
Not well, on my you. goddamn handbook works just fine. Oh, God. oh, for fuck it. No, no, come back. See? God Look. damn it. A oh. was wrong after all. <laughs> In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, huh. then that I'm not sure then. That what said Maybe unfollowing right. resets well, it. My goddamn handbook works just fine. No, maybe. Small. Oh, story, are you okay? Yeah, I think unfollowing and refollowing probably resets at Pebbles. That's probably what I'm so, soon going to call it. Nice. Right now. Is it really yours? The fuck is that supposed to mean? Uh, the the fuck is the that supposed to mean? Handbook that was in the main hall. Isn't that one actually yours? That means the one he has is Leon's. What the heck are you uh, talking about? What I mean is, I think Mondo swapped his handbook out for one that actually works. I think he took Leon's handbook and replaced it with and his And it will own. show the name on the front, so if, if Big Mac is correct, it will show the name on the front. <laughs> After all, Monokuma sure, said Pebbles. himself that Leon's handbook never should have broken. That's right! The punishment it suffered wasn't nearly enough to destroy it. So then, the broken handbook in the main hall is actually Mondo's, which would mean that the handbook Mondo has right now is actually is Leon's. Leon's. Yes? But doesn't that violate the school regulation that says loaning out your handbook is prohibited? You can't loan out something if you're dead. Well, here's how I look at it. There is a rule about loaning your handbook to another student, but if they're dead, they're not a student. Not a student. It's kind of a gray area, I admit. But no worries. If anything, it just makes things more interesting. As such, I decree that exchanging handbooks with a corpse is not a violation of the rules. It would take a while. Well, Mondo, if I'm wrong about this, you're welcome to say so. And show us your tablet. I'm happy to admit I made a mistake, but... You know, Mondo, when you pretend to be someone, people are going to vote you out. I mean, you have a point. Because... Son of a bitch. What's wrong, He knows he got caught. Come on! Tell him he's wrong! You are wrong! You have to be wrong! <laughs>